But it's been a common question I've been asked from various park owners. A lot seem to know that park on homes aren't as valuable to their park as higher lot rents. So a lot of owners have been selling off their homes to the tenants on some type of seller financed or rent to own contract. And they've been asking when I'm selling my park, let's say there's whatever evaluation for the park, how much am I getting value for these rent to own contracts and why? So let's say you sold a home off on a $30,000 rent to own contract to a tenant and they're making payments over five to 10 years to you. The balance on that is still for simplicity, let's assume you just sold it off and rent to own and they still owe 30,000 on the balance. When you're going to sell your park, aside from the land value and how it's cap and the cap rates and all of that, when you're separating out lot rent income from park on home and rent to own income, the way that they're gonna value your rent to own contract or seller finance contract or LTO contract, whatever you refer to it as, it's gonna be anywhere from 25 to 75% of the remaining balance or value of that contract 90% of the time, it's 50% of the value of the remaining balance on the contract. So what I mean by that is if you sold it to your tenant at 30,000, they owe 30,000 on that home and that's what their rent to own payments are gonna to total up over X amount of years, you'll usually get $15,000 in value for that. Now you might be asking, why am I only getting half the value of what I sold the home for? Someone buying your park is not a retail buyer, they're an investor. Just because you were able to sell off a home for a profit does not mean the home being there is actually worth that value. Investors want lot rent income. You decide to buy a home, bring it in, and sell it off for 30,000 for a profit because that home you probably brought in for 10,000. An investor is not paying you 30,000 for a $10,000 home. Now, you might say, well, it's a $25,000 home. Yeah, on the retail market. But when it comes to wholesale, any type of used home that's older than, I would say, 2000s, it's it's really not a lot of value. So the fact that they're giving you 50% of the remaining balance on the payments for that home, that's actually more than generous. And that's why I'm saying a lot of groups are actually as low as 25% or allocate no value to it because it's actually more beneficial for them to have newer homes brought into the community rather than being locked in at five to 10 years with this older home that you sold off on an RTO contract. So when you're selling your park and you're talking through with an investor, hey, I know you're valuing my land and its associated income at this price. What kind of value are you associating to the homes that I own or the homes that I sold off to the tenants? And they'll usually tell you 50% of the remaining balance of those contracts. So if you had any more questions regarding this topic or you're confused, you want to talk through it more, you can get in touch with me directly at contact at mhpvalue.com or you can call or text me anytime 561-596-8487. Best thing I can advise you do regardless if you want to sell now or in the future is head over to the website sign up for your free evaluation. Not only will I give you a five to 10 page PDF telling you exactly what your park is worth and why, I'll also hop on a personal Zoom call and actually run through and explain these different factors with your park so that way you could accurately make a decision on what you should do with your property.